a brutal attack and murder in Maricopa County Jail. And a warning, some might find this story in the video you're about to see hard to watch. It's difficult to see, but in this jail cell, an inmate is being murdered. And attorneys for his family just filed a $5 million settlement demand. It's a troubling case and a long line of them for the Maricopa County Sheriff's Office. Our chief investigator, Dave Biscabing, got this exclusive video and now has a story you'll only see right here on ABC 15. You're about to see surveillance video from inside Maricopa County's 4th Avenue Jail. It's early on March 30th this year, about 6.50 a.m. And this handcuffed man just killed his cellmate. The man he killed is Stephen Lemus, and now a lawyer for his family is set to file a massive lawsuit. Maricopa County left Stephen as a sitting duck in a cell with a deranged, mentally ill man. That's attorney Larry Walken. He just filed a $5 million notice of claim. Essentially, it's a settlement demand, and if the county doesn't settle, they'll sue. Unfortunately, while there have been some improvements in the Maricopa County Jail, this is an area that persistently causes problems. The suspected murderer is Michael Schroeder, and according to the notice of claim, he had been in 4th Avenue for a week, alone in a cell the entire time because of erratic behavior and because he was making threats if officers put anyone else with him. Quote, Schroeder demonstrated to a detention officer and mental health professional that he had knotted his pants three times and soaked the knots in water so as to practice using them as a weapon to choke someone. But on March 29th, MCSO put Lemus in a cell with Schroeder. He wouldn't last a day, and minutes before the attack, Schroeder issued a final warning. There were approximately eight minutes that elapsed between the time Mr. Schroeder called the jail's guards told them, if you don't get Steven out of the cell, I'm going to F him up, and then made a second call to tell them to come and get the body. The angle isn't great, but surveillance video gives a glimpse of what's going on inside the cell after that call to the guards. And when the guards got to the cell, they saw that Steven had been beaten, had been strangled, and had a pencil stuck in his eye. This case comes a year after another similar MCSO jail beating. Wasn't there just a, a giant verdict, maybe a record setting verdict uh, for something very similar? So that was a settlement uh, for Brian Ortiz, who was uh, beaten by another man uh, to the point where he's essentially brain dead. That settlement came in June, 11.75 million. Video and records in that case show Ortiz was punched, kicked, stomped almost 50 times. MCSO didn't get him to an ambulance for more than two hours. Now back to Stephen Lemus. The county has 60 days to respond to the $5 million settlement demand. What was he arrested and in, in put into 4th Ave for? Uh, drugs? He was arrested on a basic drug charge. And Stephen's death was the result of glaring failures at multiple levels at the Maricopa County Jail. I mean, drug arrests, like in this case, they're not death sentences. They shouldn't be. I'm investigator Dave Biscobing, ABC 15, Arizona. Well, Dave is investigating this case further and how it fits into a longstanding and very costly pattern in MCSO jails. Look for more reports in the weeks to come.